Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island Tour video. In this video, I just want to get it right out of the way right now. It's supposed to be Pen Island. I think we all know the intentions behind the name, but it was supposed to be Pen Island, but they ran into the character limit. <laughs> the creator wanted me to tell you that, and I want to let you know that so we don't have 110 comments about it. But anyway, we're going to an island with multiple really cool references and references to art or modern culture or to some really cool things, and it's really exciting to see. The pictures they sent me were really cool, so I'm excited for you all to see it. And at the end of the video, as usual, we have an interview with the island's creator as well as footage of the island during the nighttime so that you can see both day and night. And as usual, guys, if you like this sort of stuff, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notifications so it really supports me. I really appreciate it. And and it lets YouTube know that you want to see more of that content. Win-win. <laughs> Alright, that being said, enjoy the video. Alright, and we have arrived. And, oh, we're greeted by quite a number of things. Are they in the line? Step right up, step right up. I will. Look at the Dodo Airlines glasses. <laughs> are those ones you can normally get? Or are they custom? Clear. Oh, okay. We got presents. Oh, look at this grand entrance. They really prepared it, huh? It's <laughs> Look how they're using art. <laughs> Oh, is it like some sort of airport line? Yeah, it is. And they're using the artwork right there of the thinking guy uh, <laughs> as the receptionist. That's too funny. Okay, one sec. Let me just quickly open up these presents. I don't know what order I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh, am I going to be dressed up as a pilot too? Amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check him out. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. <laughs> Okay, let's transform into them. Let's transform, uh, where? Yes, we're gonna be looking a lot like them. We're gonna be looking good. So this is Dodo Airlines. Oh, the mustache. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be exactly the same. That's nice. They got slippers. And now we also have the pilot's uniform. And before we move on, I really wanna quickly check their map and then their passport, and then we're gonna go on this amazing tour adventure. So they have one, two, three. <laughs> so we have Bear Grylls, the one who's in the campsite. <laughs> we have capitalism, but we also have kind. Kian? Kian. Kian. That's amazing. So they have, oh my goodness, they have all the epic villagers and flora. That's really cool. And last but not least, let's check the passport. I want to see. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> so we got the picture of the gnome. Then it's Pen Island, guys. I swear it's Pen Island. It's funny that they have cherries, but you're going to move past that. We got to move past this joke. Smartphone photographer. Yeah, I feel like we're all like that. And they were born July 10th. Mm, pretty close to my birthday. You guys will find out about that soon enough. If you haven't already, I don't know when this is going to go up. Okay, let's go. Let's go experience this island. So right now we're just in like the airport at this point, right? Yeah, we are. So, oh my goodness, there's more presents? Is this the VIP club? Oh my goodness, all mine? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. They're spoiling me. Oh man, can I pick that up? Oh yes, I can pick it up diagonally. <gasps> oh, I don't think I can reach it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Can I do it? Yes, I did it. Yay. <laughs> All right, let me check out. What, what more presents do I get? I'm such a spoiled guy. Grand B Dragonfly model. <gasps> these are really crazy items from the, the contest, right? Tremendous statue. Oh, these are rare, aren't they? Gong. Hey, <laughs> nice. And Raymond's poster. Oh, thank you so much. I am Chase Crossing. Uh, no, you're not. We switched spots. Identity theft is not a joke, Kian. What? No, I'm Chase Crossing. You're not Chase Crossing. What? No. So they gave me their outfit and then they switch into me? This isn't fair. You didn't even get the hair right. No, I do not accept this. I do not accept this at all. Not one bit. <laughs> so now we're in a... Whoa, it's a food court. Munchies. Wow, they really have all the munchies. Wow, look at all that stuff. Street food. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. 
We got David there. Look at that. Booty just in hand's reach at arm's length. You don't know me, guy. Perfect. Here are the bag guys. <laughs> the bad guys. Okay, okay. I saw garbage bags, so I thought you were making a pun. So they're the bad guys. Okay. The gnomes, and there's like poop everywhere. And the trash villagers. Oh my gosh. That's way too funny. Okay. <laughs> we're going to move on past them. <laughs> Is David a bad guy too? I'm the bad guy. Duh. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, look at the stars everywhere. That's really pretty. We got a couple of twiddles. Hello, twiddles. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness, what? That's a tree with trees in it. It's a tree with trees in it. I think it's one of those hacked ones. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. What are you doing, tree meta? <laughs> it is, actually. That's insane. <laughs> my goodness. So we have the market now. Oh, it's some trash out here. Dog ate the mail. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. And look at the giant beetle there. Holy crap, that's big. They definitely filled this area to the brim. Okay. Oh, Momotaro. There you go. We're just going to leave that there. Cause some troubles. What? Now we got a giant grand fish market. Crazy. Seafood market. I hope you're not eating whale sharks. Oh, goodness. Okay. That is a crazy collection you've got there. And a crazy collection of art. Oh, girls lining up for the bathroom. <laughs> that's too funny. Loud noise complaints. What? Oh, that's cool. From the Zen Garden. Yeah, the Zen Garden. <laughs> oh, is that a... Oh, yeah, it is. I think I saw a gong over there. Oh, my gosh. I'm really excited. We got to get there as soon as possible. Oh, my goodness. The items are popping back in. It's filled to the brim, but look at all the art they've got. Holy crap. Okay. Where are we headed? Oh, what? Okay. It's all popping in now. Oh, there they are. Now we're going south of here towards the beach. The public beach. Amazing. More food. Wow, there's so much food on this island. That's just amazing. We're going to eat a little bit. That's beautiful. <laughs> Got the red snapper in the back. A nice place to chill on the beach. Right here. Picnic blanket. Pretty much everything you could ask for. And more with all these golden roses. That's crazy. Look at the giant beetles. The scorpions. Look at all the art pieces here. Starving artist. Oh my gosh. This is craziness. <laughs> That's wow. What nation? Hmm. Donation. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I was so confused at the question. I'm like, what? <laughs> I see what you're doing. Try to be sly getting donations. Oh my god. Oh, more bad guys in the alley. Bad guys always hang out. Are the gnomes really that bad? They seem to be causing a lot of trouble for your island here. Bad guys always hang out around barrels in games. Yeah. You guys ever notice that? They always have something to do with barrels. Ever since Donkey Kong throwing barrels. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to spin that. Ever since Donkey Kong and now it's always in alleys. Big spider. Twiddles everywhere. Little twiddles. That was counterproductive. I <laughs> don't know what that jump was. <laughs> wow. Ooh, we're going up to the museum now. What? It's huge. And look at the green and purple mums. Wow, that must have taken a while to get. Nice and peaceful up here. Very nice and peaceful. And now we're going to the left. Ooh, what? Is this a giant wedding reception? It is. A giant wedding reception over here. 
Guess whose wedding? Uh, yours. I, I don't know. Are we getting married? Who's getting married? Oh, Flick and CJ. <laughs> okay, you know what? I Okay, <laughs> they're getting married. I didn't even know they met each other. I've never seen them on the island at the same day. It's crazy. Little Mozart. <laughs> yes, what no Mozart was very much famous for playing is the wood flute right the wood flute is just when you think of mozart when i think of mozart i just think wood flute you know what i mean mm, beautiful oh and they're walking down the aisle there in the ring oh that's so pretty that's so nice even got the camera to make sure you capture all the beautiful moments oh ooh, <laughs> short but sweet performance right there I mean, up here it's like a honeymoon spa spa it's just it's just a hot tub it's just a spot there we go why do i say spa it's a spot close enough this is beautiful i love the natural feel of it you know there's there's it's just on the grass which is really sometimes the nicest oh my goodness look at the butterflies what this is mind-blowing and oh do you guys see this to my right I, I think he's forcing me to not look at it right this second but that's insane that's absolutely insanity oh my god that's pretty cool and we have, okay I see it looks like he's gonna throw the disc but he's dancing <laughs> that's so funny I want to get a better uh, view of that if I can but I don't think I can get out at this point no, I don't think we can get out. Oh, can we? Yes. I want to see that better. What? Nice. <laughs> Wait, on the back of his shirt. It looks like he has a gong on the back of his shirt. I don't know. Do you guys see that? He has a gong. <laughs> That's a gong on the back of the shirt. That's amazing. And we're at the gym. Perfect. Wow. I tried to bounce it with the beat of the song, but I think I failed. <laughs> That's really cool. Really good use of space, I've noticed. Oh, and then we have, of course, the protein shakes. You gotta have them. Look, it's a gong. Guys, I'm so distracted. I just want to hit him in the back right there. Just want to hit the gong, you know? I think I'd get arrested for assault, though. But still, I have a really good defense in court. Your Honor, there was a gong on his back, and then they'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. No, I get it. You know? Anyway, we're walking past this beautiful art section again. My switch is about to die. <laughs> and, ooh. Oh, is this like a film studio? It is. It's a movie studio. Let's go. So they're dressing up as Los Angeles... Oh, Los Angeles director. That's perfect. All right, guys. Let's go see what's inside. Ooh, what? Whoa, this is so trippy. There's so many parts to it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is really cool. They have like the separate area right there with everyone getting prepped. And then we have the real star of the show. The Kabooby beautiful check out whatever you like <laughs> i will this is really really cool um let's just go to the right i guess i don't know if they're gonna lead me okay let's go to the right let's go to the right i want to see if it's a bathroom or not and is this what i think it is black couch camcorder yeah is it that simple hmm i don't know if it's uh hmm yep okay you know what? it's just a normal casting room i don't know okay you know we're getting out of here <laughs> I, i'm gonna plead the fifth i i don't understand what's this what is this reference on the computer here too huh what are they doing at work what is that 
orange color. What kind of movie studio is this? What movies is Kabubi here starring in? Huh? Okay, we're gonna go to the north. What is in the northern room? Oh, it's an Egyptian area. That's really, really cool. <laughs> and I think they said something that I couldn't actually see. Just an XD. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're... I see what you're doing. <laughs> this one is really cool. Must have filmed like the mummy. I don't know what scene they've done in here. That's really cool though. I like it. It really, really feels like it with the box to the left and everything. All right. We back here and we're going to go to the left. Oh, it feels so cool. Me, uh, me directing this house tour. Oh, and this is like a space one. That's really cool. Maybe interstellar. Something like that. I don't know. This is so cool. The lighting. This is where we film. The fake moon landing. <laughs> is that? <laughs> That's hilarious. But I really love your use of lighting in here. With the Nova Lanterns and the little star fragments. And like, oh, it's really well done. Really, really nice. I'm a fan of this. I guess you could say I'm over the moon. Huh? <laughs> All right. We're back in this room, and I'm going to go upstairs first, because usually there's like a secret in the basement. And we're going to go upstairs first and see what that is. What? <gasps> what? Jurassic Park vibes here. This is epic. Oh, man, that's so cool. And my, I love... Whoa, the lights just came in i could have sworn the lights weren't there a second ago maybe i'm just crazy but look in the background when you're sitting here the way that they have the uh standees they actually work we have jurassic park or something but you see how they're actually like standees they're cutouts but from this angle they actually really add to it in some really cool ways and you can see the smaller dinosaur back there but also the explorer that is really well done that is so fun especially with the music too ah love it All right, and last but not least, we are going to the basement. Let's go check it out. Oh, what? Oh, I guess Jurassic Park again, too. We have like a little frog or something like that. We have a frog with the mosquito there, right? The mosquito was very important in Jurassic Park. So they've turned these frogs into big frogs. Okay, this is my moment, guys. This is my moment. <laughs> this is my moment and I'm gonna be scared beautiful beautiful how was my take how was my take was it good our A-list star right there we go yes this is the kind of movie that I want to be in all right and we were done with that house that was interesting it had some definite twists and turns <laughs> all right so we're back outside. Wow, it's crazy to think we're not even half done outside here. And what is this? Oh my god, it's a bowling. <laughs> Greek bowling. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's so funny and creative. The way they've used these <laughs> art pieces. Look, they're all thinking. We got Kabubi, Kabubi versus the, the gnome. You don't know me, guys. And they're all pondering stuff. And what is going on here? We got little quackers and twiddles. This is a nice look up. Oh my goodness, like all the evil things. We got a kabooby in the background. We got zipper tea bunny demonic statue right there. <laughs> That's so funny. That is way too funny. In their campsite area. Oh, and now it's time to go to here. Wow. Look at this. Look at that painting. That painting is definitely dynamic. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But that is the most dynamic painting I've ever seen. There we go. My time has come. <laughs> Just two claps to show my approval. 
All right, and now we're going into what I can presume is a Chinese restaurant. Beautiful. Wow, look at the background. I miss dim sum. Yeah, so do I. I could go for some of that. That would be yummy. And we just squeeze past here. Oh, here having a little picnic. With all <laughs> the transformer in the background <laughs> beside the two buildings. But the bridge is really pretty in itself. It's really pretty. I do enjoy that. I don't know where we're going next. Are we going to go to the left? Yes. All right, so this is near the museum, but now we get to actually cross the pretty bridge with more beautiful butterflies everywhere. Look up. Yes, I saw that earlier. Yeah, but it's even better to view from here. Even better. Instant wings. Don't know what that means. Is it something to do with Gundams? I don't know. I'm just... I, I think it's just going over my head. OG villagers, so it's rest in peace to them too. <laughs> oh, Mira. Mira's pretty cool. Like, you know, if Mira was here, you wouldn't have any problems with Transformers. She would just fight them all. And they'd be all gone. What is this? What? Secret little cove. Oh my goodness. With the waterfall glitch. So, for people that don't know, you can jump diagonally through waterfalls. Yeah, it's crazy, but you, it seems like you shouldn't be able to, but you can. More rest in peace, villagers. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> but that's how you get to a secret cove. Ah, uh, he's forcing me to do it twice. Look at you. Uh, this is why you went ahead of me. <laughs> And we have all the bad guys hoarding all the gold back here. My true form. Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to be more scary. Yeah, there. I'm more scared. That's really cool. And now we can go back through here. Go to the right. Look at all the... I don't know if there's supposed to be soldiers marching. I don't know. Oh, this is the reference to the buried... Um. Oh, my goodness. I forget what it is. I'm... But, you know, like the buried uh, warriors, you know? That's really cool. Oh, Starry Night. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? It actually looks like Starry Night. No, I see it. Okay, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna let you see both at the same time. So, at, from here... Oh, one sec, I got to put away this so you can see. So, for Starry Night, we have... Over to the left, we have the rock representing the giant tower or whatever it was in it we have the moon the ufos the stars everything like that and we're inside here what's inside here oh i'm gonna step on those guys there we go good so it looks like they're researching something and I'm very happy there we go you're welcome you are welcome <laughs> i've never seen somebody actually decorate the camp like just the tent before Usually people upgrade at least to the first room, but this is really interesting. Really cool vibe, the way you've kept it like this. And this is Bear Grylls' tent, so maybe Bear Grylls actually made Starry Night. And nobody knows about that, you know? Maybe Bear Grylls is a talented artist. You don't know. The man can do anything. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to go south now from here. Ooh, it's a little spa. A little panda spa just hidden off there. We're right beside the Zen Garden again, passing the campsite with the weird quackers and twiddles. Past the chess match. Oh, Stonehenge. Nice. And now we're going to go through a beautiful garden. Wow. Another look up. Oh, very pretty. Oh, just sneezed in real life. Okay. As opposed to sneezing in-game, I guess. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> of course, I sneezed in real life. Okay, so... Oh, look at that! The star fragments in the trees. That's really pretty, but it also kind of looks like the art piece. I see that. That's interesting reference. Raymond in a muscle shirt? What? <laughs> Raymond's in a muscle shirt. 
<laughs> it's a village. Oh, yeah. So this is the villagers village and they've actually put them in like a, a rectangle formation. That's kind of cool. Oh, and they actually have the portraits of each of them outside. So that's just smart. I've seen people like on Sarah Island. Um, she actually had posts with like custom signs that she'd made the art herself. But why not just put the portrait itself outside? That's smart. It's way more useful than just having uh, anything else. <laughs> I can't get over Raymond in that muscle shirt. <laughs> okay, now we're on some like Shell Beach area. Oh, you're trying to work on your literary literary masterpiece. There we go. Maybe I'm just illiterate, to be honest. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the flyers. St stay the home. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> oh man, okay, so here's Takoyaki Boy Zucker. A big bear. And Audi. Love Audi. Oh, now this is a golden house. Okay, we're gonna go into house number two. Or rather, house number three. The tent counts, right? It's an Airbnb. Interesting. Alright. I'll see you guys inside. Alright, wow, this is a cool Airbnb. Salvador Dal. Oh, I see. Salvador Dal. Okay. Okay. I didn't see that when they first transformed. <laughs> but he's managed to make some really cool things. Oh, look at the Rossetti poster. Aren't those exclusive? That's really cool. That is so cool. You lead. Okay. Um, we're going to the right. We're always going to go to the right and see if it's a bathroom. Oh, this is cool. This room, oh wow, it really feels like, oh wait, this is a honeymoon suite for um, Flick and CJ? Yeah, it's Flick and CJ's room. That's so cool. We have bugs and fish. Although, I gotta say, it looks like CJ is the designer of this room because there's very little uh, things for Flick to enjoy. There's only like four bugs. And most of them are water bugs. Two of them, three of them are water bugs. This is not fair. We need justice for Flick. <laughs> justice for Flick. All right, so we're back in the main room. This is honestly such a cool room. I love how they separate it with this uh, black couch, but we're going to the left now. I wonder what's here. Ooh. It's like an art room. Oh my god, the laptop by the computer. Do you have to keep reusing that same website? The Red's, Red's Room? Where he makes counterfeit art. Oh, I see. That's way too funny. Look at all the art here. That's actually really cool that Red gets his room. Oh, so I guess his Airbnb is just for each room. It's crazy how their uh, Airbnbs are so customized. They're absolutely customized to the person going in. That must cost a lot of money. All right, and now let's go to the north. Hopefully the owner can see me. All right, perfect. And here we are. What? I'm so confused. So I get it. This is where the bad guys are, right? What is this? Oh, he's dressed up as his true form. I just want to know why water, it's raining on them. The pirate hangout, is that supposed to be a... Uh, a leak in the wall or something that's that could be it it could be like in a pirate ship right there's a little leak on poor kabooby there oh no that's so funny <laughs> all right all right so now we're gonna go upstairs and then we are gonna go downstairs is there even a downstairs i don't know i can't see it's actually really dark in that room what now we're just in space just straight up in space and look at the way that they put that what it's a cute little alien they put the helmet and the shelf lower than i think it's supposed to go i don't know if that's a glitch or if you're allowed to do that but it's right there glitched into the pants and it actually or rather the outfit itself and it just looks so cute we got a little alien <laughs> oh that's hilarious i love it so it's Celeste. She's among the stars. 
All right, now last but not least, the basement. What? What? This is crazy. It's supposed to be like Bowser's thing, and this little toidle here is a uh, Bowser. <laughs> this is gruesome and so cool. I love how they have the gas. Oh, it's his room. That's cool. That's cool. I love how the gas station thing right there is all rusted and destroyed. That adds a really cool element to it. You really like fire, huh? And little toidles. Hello. Little Bowsers. That's what they are. All right. And that looks like that's it for that house. But we still have more. Where are we headed next, boss? You lead the way. Oh, wow. There's still quite a bit more. All right. So now we go south. Beside the film studio to the left. We have a beach boardwalk. That's cool. And we have some grass right there. And just grass clippings. That's it. <laughs> and then... We go up here. Ooh. Got a really cool restaurant diner here. Yeah, you show them. Hey, amazing job. <laughs> Looks like it's somebody's birthday. So they're having a little birthday party in here. And that's cool. The diner. I love the coloring of everything. That's really nice. So we go inside the diner and that's really seamless. I love how the music is playing outside too. Oh, wow. It almost feels like a casino with all this, uh, the pyramid in the background. And oh, it is a casino that we're in right now. What am I saying? I'm just dumb. <laughs> and now, oh, it's a boxing match or wrestling. I don't know which one, but I'm pretty sure boxing. That's so cool. Oh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> That's too good. That is way too good. Everything here just feels like there's like these crazy events going on 24-7, huh? That's amazing. All right, so we're going to go to the right. Down. Oh. Oh, this is just a lifeguard area. Beautiful. And then we have the fishing dock. Naturally. A golden fishing rod. Nice. Oh my gosh. I don't think... Why is it... <laughs> It's a little big <laughs> and more artwork that looks like it's being painted here i can see that that's interesting that's cool i like that and we have right raymond in the background mingling with the the criminals oh they're all fighting over the diy <laughs> what are they doing yeah that's too funny all right and now we're gonna go past the beautiful garden. Now we've done a loop-de-loop. -loop. We're back at the house here. I think we're just going back to the beginning of the island. And now guys, that looks like it's the end of the tour. Now stick around for not only footage of the nighttime, but also an interview with the wonderful creator of this interesting island. <laughs> All right, now it is time for the interview portion of the video. I'm here with the island's creator. First, I just want to say thank you so much for that tour. You had so many really funny and also really pretty areas mixed in. I liked how, um, I guess, dynamic that would be, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And uh, yeah, <laughs> just thank you so much for taking the time to give me the tour and also for the interview we're about to have. Yeah, thank, thanks, dude. Um, thank you for that dynamic um, introduction and everything. This, <laughs> this has been great, you know? I, I'm, I'm glad you're, I was able to share a piece of like my thinking in my mind in like, the last few months of my life, mm -hmm. in a sense. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, speaking of your life, tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, so I am a Swiss Army Knife creative. I Ooh. am a, I'm a dance photographer, a commercial photographer, a social media content creator. Um, I used to be a professional dancer, and at this current moment in my life, because there's a lot of different phases, I am currently an art director in the advertising agency industry. So pretty much long story short, I create ads that you want to skip on YouTube, but it pays a lot of money. <laughs> well, actually, you get the big bucks because you make ads that people don't want to skip, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, my job is to make people want to look at it and yeah. get and get people to um, buy things or see things differently. Hmm. But yeah, but in general, like advertising, just it, it's it's a rough industry with 
to get people's attention. Exactly. And create yeah. like a brand clout or just presence, you know, <laughs> like as if exactly. McDonald's needs to advertise anymore. Like it's oh just to God. show that, like, look what we can afford. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're a completely different story. Oh my God. <laughs> so I have worked with them in the past. Oh, nice. Nice. How many hours have you spent on your island moving it back to the not real world? Um, sadly, I have spent about, let's look, um, 846 out. No, sorry, 847 hours. Oh, that's so specific. That's... Wow, that's pretty high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is your first attempt at an island. You haven't torn it down and done it over again, or? No, I haven't torn it down. Um, you know, like, I, I thought a lot about tearing it down. By the way, this is not my first time playing Animal Crossing. I played, like... The GameCube version, I forgot which title that was. But um, yeah, I, I think uh, the first thing is like, I, su I saw my friend's island and I saw how symmetrical the, the first island was. I was like, oh man, you know, I can start my, my island off. Like if you notice, my island starts all the way to the left with the airport and mm -hmm. I wanted to get something super symmetrical. But I was like, you know what? You know, in the lieu of Bob Ross, you gotta paint over hap and make happy mistakes. You know, you yeah. just gotta just work just go with the flow and i've always been like the type of person goes with the flow like i come from like a like a dance background where it's it's about like you learn certain techniques and certain foundations and then afterwards you kind of just break it you know and sometimes like when you kind of like fall by accident into something else you just create a brand new move you know and, and i kind of like apply mentality with every single creative uh career i've had over the years and you know it's not it's the same mental process with this you know like i Put, I slapped something together and it somehow it just sparked inspiration. And then I, next thing you know, I, I stay up to like 3, 4 a.m. <laughs> just building around it. And then sometimes I just tear it apart. You know, it, it's just, it's really random. Yeah. You know, creativity is a hard one to uh, really actualize, you know. And I'm going to ask you a hard question right after what you just said. How would you describe your theme? If there even is a theme, but how did you decide on <laughs> it? And what, how would you describe your island? Um, okay, I'm gonna try to explain some context of what my theme before I explain my theme is. So, throughout my whole life, um, I actually the last few years, not my whole life, that's that's an exaggeration. <laughs> so, like, throughout the last few years, like, I've worked in like a lot of different aspects, like, especially in content creation. And what, and as you know, like, once you get into a specific type of like channel, people want to see the same thing over and over, and you get kind of box, right? And then it's the same thing with, um, you know. When I work in the ad agency, um, like you get box where you basically you're serving the client, right? So mm -hmm. my mentality and my approach to Animal Crossing was like, you know what? No one's telling me what to do. No one's telling me I have to stick to this theme. So let me just do how I feel. Um, so I kind of so this whole thing was a complete freestyle from the get go, you know. And also, I never actually thought about terraforming until maybe like 500 hours in. Like, I was actually I actually played Animal Crossing to catch. Um, I, I was like making, I was setting random goals. Like I was like, let me catch all the fish. Let me make some trophies. Let me, um, as you see, like the, the fish market looked yeah. a little ridiculous. It was um, crazy. My, yeah. my fit my switch almost blew up. <laughs> the fan almost just spun out of there. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of particles going on with the waterfalls. And yeah, it's, I was also like looking at this, like, um, this is going to look kind of weird on YouTube, but it is what it is. No, it's all and, good. Um, yeah. Yeah. I went from that to like, you know what? Let me, um, hit this goal let me and then after a while i was like i discovered like i was okay i was trying really hard not to time travel mm -hmm. but the moment i found out about brand discord servers like yours and everyone else's and found out like people are trained this i was like all right i'm just gonna time travel it is what it is i i, I did enjoy the game without it for a while so i got uh, like a gist of how it is but then you know i just took the bite and i went with it but anyways I forgot what I was talking about. We were talking about describing my theme. <laughs> yeah, your theme, yeah. <laughs> so my, my my theme is basically no theme. It's just a bunch of random thoughts that just kind of mash together, you know? Like, that, that's pretty much what it is. And how I decided on it was um, just on the whim, you know? Like, some days I, I, like, if you looked at certain parts of my island, like, if you look right before my museum, there's like this waterfall path. That was my first attempt to terraform. And then, um, after a while, I was like, you know what? I got terraforming. Let me try this. Let me try this. So it's, yeah, it was pretty random. But sometimes that's the best. As you mentioned, you go with the flow. And that's why I asked you such a tough question to describe your island when you, <laughs> but no, I like that. And of all yeah. the areas you made, because a lot of them seem like they were just birthed in like fun. 
and just whimsically, I guess. But what was your favorite area? Either making it or just revisiting it now that you've already made it or most nostalgic? What one? Um, I, I, I think I, the thing about me is I get bored really fast. So I, I make something and I think it's great and amazing. And then in about a few days or a week, I'm like, eh, I'm over it. <laughs> but I think the, the only thing that really stuck out that I was really proud of is, um, I think all the random statues I made, but first and foremost, I think definitely the movies do it. Cause I feel like that was very different. Um, you know, I try not to watch too many YouTube review videos cause otherwise you start getting influenced by it and you start, mm -hmm. you know, um, indirectly copying it. So I, I tried to not, I try to watch it very sparingly, you know, every here and there. Um, so I think that was very, very different. And I'm pretty proud of that, you know, cause it, it's actually an animal crossing. You have only a finite number of items and there's only so many ways you can arrange something in a certain theme. And because of that, things start to look the same after all. It's really hard to like differentiate. No, I feel that. Um, there's, uh, it, it's, it's the thing with the social media and a lot of people just follow a ton of Instagram accounts and I'm not knocking it, but I feel like every cottage core or fairy core island looks exactly the same like in this in and in, in not that it's not pretty and it's obvious why people are copying it right but it's like the same three patterns the same three pad patterns and um, villagers and items are just reused and then they have the same filter on every video <laughs> and it's just like oh my god it's amazing yeah. it, it, they're very pretty but where is the 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 it factor where is the the when it for the first one that came out the first 10 that came out were like wow and then it's like okay <laughs> come on and I, I really noticed with your island especially one unique thing that i want to ask you about specifically using yep. the statues as people and it, it not only was just so funny and kind of like a meme but after a while it was kind of really smart did you come up with that idea by yourself or did you see it on reddit and just kind of take from that um, actually, I did come up with myself. I was just placing things down. Like, originally, I was like, all right, well, a great statue. Um, all right, that, okay, maybe that didn't work. And then I tried putting something out, like a beautiful statue. I was like, and then I put, and then there was like a robust statue. It was, it, it was like, you know what? He looks like he's about to, um, you know, throw something. I was like, oh, yeah, bowling. All right, let's just make this, <laughs> let's just make this a bowling link. It, that was literally, and then I started laughing. I was like, you know what? Like, these expressions look really silly. Like, you know, um, that raccoon character just looks, like kind of silly like he's almost like he looks kind of like a scumbag which i think in japanese lore he is supposed to be like a like a troll like a menace or something and then one and then i i really actually hated those gnomes um and then after a while i stumbled upon i think i bought like the pirate gnome and i was like no way all right well i think we have a theme that yeah. that was literally it. and i just started putting it out everywhere i started with the treasure cove and i was like you know what this is this is silly let me just put it everywhere else and then I made them as like villains to hijack like the, the city town and yeah. all that stuff. So a, a lot of it was just a mixed match of that. And I was like, you know what, this 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 seems like a really funny reference in my head. So let me just try it out. <laughs> and, you know, I, oh, by the way, like it, nothing here is organized. Like I, I think I spent more time running from my house to pick up an item to running to my mail to pick something up and then forgetting where I was coming. So a lot of time was wasted just going back and forth. Um, but eventually something came about out of that, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no, I've done that too. Um, I don't do too much planning at all with my islands. It's just kind of a thing where you have to walk up to it X amount of times and see how it feels. That's the And so I think that could have aided you in a lot of ways. Just walking through your island will let you know what's missing or what looks good and what doesn't, you know? So I don't think it was time was wasted in that sort of sense. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I mean, to be honest, there's some weeks where like I'll go through my island like, I'm done. There's absolutely nothing to do. And then I just Psych. get bored and I'm like, oh. and yeah, exactly. Oh, by the way, uh, like there's been so many times I've been on like work Zoom meeting calls and ammo crossing is not a distraction to me. It's almost like my my newest version of a fidget spinner where I have to <laughs> run around island po pointlessly while I'm actually talking to a client or on a conference call. It's it's strange. By the way, I hope I don't get in trouble for that. But anyways. Oh, yeah. Don't, uh, <laughs> I can cut that out if you want. <laughs> No, nah, it's cool. Just whatever. Just leave it in. Okay. But you know what? The, the, the quarantine is weird. Um, the people who have been doing weird things to like to be able to like get themselves into a, like a normal normalized state of mind. So for me, like Animal Crossing has, has been like the way for me to get kind of normal. Like I, I, I naturally fidget a lot. 
So when I'm talking to like someone on over Zoom call, I'm, I'm literally doing nothing but running around circles on my island on Animal Crossing. So that pro that probably accumulated most of my hours more than anything. Else. That's so funny. So for yeah. your island though, instead of running around everywhere, maybe that could be it. But what are your future plans? Like, what are you gonna do next? I feel like everything is full. Maybe you could add another house. What are you gonna do next? Um, like I've like. I've had like three, four, or five things that popped up. Even like, like two things popped up like a few hours before I was supposed to um, do this whole thing with you. And I was trying to figure out in my head, I'm like, well, I don't have space. I don't have space. Where do I put this? A lot of times with my thinking, my foundation of thinking, I a lot of it comes from what I do as creative. And what I do is like sometimes you get good ideas and it doesn't work, and you just have it in your back pocket or in the back of your mind. And you just save it, and sometimes you pull it out when it, when it does work, and it's amazing. And sometimes it doesn't. You know, it is what it is. Like, yeah, my job as an art director is I have to come up with ideas constantly, and things always get killed. Like either a creative director kills it, or the client kills it, or maybe I just kill it because it doesn't make any sense. And I think of the same, the same exact approach to Animal Crossing. Like, sometimes things work, sometimes it doesn't. You know,、um, I don't stress it too much. I don't really hold any ideas.、Um, Close to my heart, you know. And for that, like, I'm able to、um, just freestyle it a lot more and not put too much pressure on like making it as perfect as possible. So, I mean, once in a while, I might get a woman inspiration again, like every few days, and I might just demolish an area and just build something new, you know, just for self satisfaction more than anything else. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Honestly, you gotta just do whatever makes you happy, and it, it kind of, I mean, my island is not even close to as done as yours, but I, I understand the struggle of this area is. Very pretty, and I like it. But I'm out of space, and I want to play the game more. You know what I mean? I don't want to just be done. So what has to go? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's, just it's sometimes、tough. you gotta drop that and just be like, ah,、oh, let's just go. You know? It's not, it's not a museum. It's not art pieces. That you know, take a picture of it and then make something new. Exactly. So、uh, yeah, I just reevaluate things. Like I think there's what I love about this game is like. There's no set time, you know. Like, there's no rush for anything. So if if I don't figure anything out for like the next few weeks, it is what it is, and um, and out of nowhere, I'll just get something will click. Yeah. At some point, you know.、Mm-hmm. And so you, I, I feel like just through your talking about your future plans and everything, and in general, you kind of touched on this. So let's keep this part short and sweet. But、mm-hmm. do you have any advice for the people watching? With them creating their island, or the the kind of methods you use that really helped you. Um, yes, I actually do. Okay, so it sounds cliche, but just I mean, just have fun. That's it. So don't take it super serious. Don't get super hard on yourself. Like, I purposely don't check a lot of Instagram accounts and all on on Reddit and all that stuff for like these sparkly, beautiful islands because, you know, you know, I I think. What kills your creativity is when you compare yourself to others, because everyone is very creative. Everyone has their own voice, and everyone's true to their own heart. And you can bring it out, and you just have to like not compare yourself to others. You know, like what, like a lot of times I look at my stuff, and I'm like, you know what, this thing is probably trash, and maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Maybe you think it's great, but maybe I think it's not great. It, it's all subjective, you know. And a lot of times when you 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 look at your stuff for hours, it just doesn't look as great as someone who just seen it right away. So yeah, just have fun. And the other thing is, um, if you're gonna time travel or anything like I did, um, just know what you're getting into because you'll probably burn out and um ex- experience most of the game right away. Um, it, it spoils the game for you if you do do that. So just be fully aware if you do decide time travel. Yeah, if I was to go back, if I really wanted to enjoy this, I would have not done it,、um, and I would have probably just like just chilled out and just had and just enjoy the game for how it is, and it would probably like last like a few years actually, more than a few months. Well, yeah, that's why Animal Crossing、um, has so many die-hard fans that you just really meant to play it an hour or so a day. That's why they purposely make you. Have to, I guess, wait. You know what I mean? For why does everything take the next day, and why do these things only happen once a week? It's because you're supposed to just turn it on once a day as your daily routine. You know,、um, it's supposed to be like an escape, not a grind. But it coming out in quarantine,、yeah. can you blame people? Like when you're sitting here for,、oh、my like, God. <laughs> imagine not being able to time travel, and you you just have all day to do nothing, and you want to play. You know, so I don't blame people at、oh. all. 
Yeah, I, actually, the funny thing is, like, I, I was telling you before, I, like, as a content creator, I think ever since the game, ever since I downloaded this game in, like, I think it was April, I have not created anything on my social media accounts <laughs> ever since this came out. But um, I, I think this was a huge break because I was in, like, a huge level of burnout. Like, you know, like the like the energy and, the, and I was on a roll um, and I was, like, increasing my channels like crazy. But after a while, I was just like, you know, I want to do something different. I was like, I don't want to get stuck on this, like, like non-stop loop where I have to create content every day, you know? So I, I think it was a nice, like huge break from it. Yeah. And speaking of yep. social media, can you uh, let us know any of the social media where we can keep up to date with not only you, because every, of course people are going to be now curious so much of what you do, but also do you have anything for Animal Crossing too that they can follow you on? Um, Animal Crossing, not as much. Um, I think just because my social media channels are already very locked. Mm -hmm. So... If you want to follow me, you know, don't follow me because you follow me on Animal Crossing. Follow me because you looked at it and you liked my art and, you know, I, I would appreciate that more. But uh, my Instagram is Keen Quan Photography. You probably could find it better under the YouTube comp YouTube descriptions. And my TikTok is Keen Quan Creates. And actually, I probably could create a ton of um, a ton of Animal Crossing content on TikTok just because, like, that I started that a few months ago, and my audience is way more flexible than my photography account. That's a good point. Yeah, Animal right. Crossing TikTok is. Uh, oh man, can it ever get cursed? <laughs> I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I, I, yes. I mean, TikTok is literally just memes in video form, and my island is basically literally just memes. So yeah. I, I probably could, I probably could kill it on that. I just haven't really bothered doing it because <laughs> I'm I'm too busy actually literally playing Animal Crossing. Well, fair enough. Well, guys, if you want to follow Keen. The links, as he said, are in the description of this video. Maybe even the comment that he has pinned will have them. You can actually ask him questions directly right there under this video. And that's pretty much it for all of my questions. Thank you so much again, Keen, for not only the beautiful tour, but also these questions. You answer them so nicely. And thank you for taking your time to do this. Yeah, thank you, Chase. I really appreciate you taking your time out as well. You know, there's thousands of islands. I'm sure, like, my island is just as great as hundreds of other islands out there, you know. But um, uh, thank you. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Short and sweet. I like it. <laughs> you take care, man. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you want to see more, as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads or live streams, as well as if you want to join our amazing Discord community or follow me on Twitter, the links are in the description right beside the Google Forms link to submit your island for tour just like this one. But remember, I have almost a thousand submissions at this point, and it takes a really long time to go through them and tour all the videos. So if I don't respond to you within two weeks even, don't get too discouraged. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.